Do you have a favorite play? Play or musical? Either, because they're both on stage. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex TV. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. You hold the Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter for juicy, juicy content. content. It's I'm so juicy. So I can't read the bells when you get squat. Bam! Number one. Also, a person that you can up with the description below. <laughs> Is that good? That was great. Thanks. Absolutely took me off guard. I was not expecting no for the answer. Today we're acting to an old song. Old friends sat on our park bench like bookends. That's Simon and Garfunkel. You should listen to them. Hacha. Uh, it says that. It says Acha. Acha ji main hari chalo. My son's outside. Devon Anand, Madhubala, Mod Rafi Asha Bosle, Esti Berman. Yeah, so and we know. Uh, Esti Berman. Rafi, we know Rafi and Mod. Did, didn't S.D. Berman do the music to Piazza? Uh, he might have, yeah. Here, I'll be surprised if I remember that. About the song. Karen Mehta, Devanon, the archetypal city slick romantic hero of the 50s, is annoyed at his girlfriend, Asha, the gorgeous Madhubala. That's one is. Who's trying every trick in the book to plead guilty, ask for forgiveness, and woo him. The lyrics are by Majru Sultanpuri. It has been sung by Asha Bosley, versatile playback singer and sibling of Lata, and Muhammad Rafi. Mm -hmm. The music has been composed by S.D. Berman about the movie. Based on A.J. Cronin's Beyond This Place, this 1958 Kalapani, translated solitary confinement in jail movie, narrates the story of an untiring crusade for justice by a young man upon learning about his father's wrongful implication in a 15-year-old murder. Ooh. All right, so the song itself is from the film, and I am certain, to a 99 percentile degree, that he did the music for that film. So, here you go. Yeah, tell me if I'm right. S.T. Berman. No. Who was it? I what? don't know, I didn't read. Oh, you weenie. <laughs> it's got the ca S music, S.T. Berman. Whee! Here we go. <clears throat>
पाएंगे ये जिंदगी को कर खा के हम Yep, you know, I was thinking as we were watching it how there's a definite um, characteristic of a lot of classic Indian songs in a lot of older Indian films that just have a playfulness about them. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. They're not just fun, but a, just a straight being playful. Yeah. That, that was a lot of just, that was just bouncy fun. Yeah, that would, we haven't, I think we'll get to some of them uh, for, for classic month, but um, like, we haven't had one of like a fun, a big over the top Bollywood movie yet. Mm. We've had like the ones we've got have all been great, and they've had and, some big numbers. In yeah, them. but they're more serious films. Yeah, as opposed to like the blockbusters of that day. Yeah, because like I don't know what I would compare it to. I guess Sound of Music, even though that's pretty serious as well at times. Yeah, um, I don't know. I Singing in the Rain. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, Singing in the Rain is pretty much back to back to back great music numbers. Yeah, um, but none of them are as epic as like An American in Paris. The ending of An American in Paris is just massive in scale. Yeah, yeah, that 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 kind of thing. Yeah, so maybe so anyway. we need to get to some of those. Uh, but yeah, that was absolutely beautiful. Uh, S. D. Berman, he's going somewhere. I am a, becoming. A, f a big fan of because all of the songs in Piazza were fun. Yeah, uh, and I just there's a playfulness and the the orchestrations are really nice. So yeah, I want to hear more more of that stuff. Also, not all the songs in Piazza were fun. No, they were all good. They were all good. <laughs> I think that's what he meant. That's what I meant. Because there was one about killing himself. It's true. <laughs> Which no, I'm not. That's not fun at all. That's not funny. There's only drug about with that one. <laughs> Let us know what other classic songs we should react to down below. Don't <laughs> <laughs>